Welcome back to Star Ocean for real this time. We're back in the forest and sneak attack on Grell. Good. So like I said earlier, with this being different, well, on the regular map of this wonderful forest that Joshua grew up in, the enemies are actually running around the area. You run into them, you fight them. Now, the wonderful thing about the Grells is if you're really good about battling in the system, you can get excellent experience points because you know that they've seen them like multiply random. Well, that actually counts as an extra enemy. So if you can just get them to just keep multiplying and multiplying, you'll get far more experience than you regularly would. I got Aqua Sprite for fear. Excellent. Even though Aqua Sprite is kind of a abysmal whatever attack. It's not the most effective, really. Now the good thing out of doing the side quest is that you actually is you get really good items for it. So Joshua used his tractor beam. Tractor beam really right now is really powerful. But you get really good items for it, especially in terms of equipment. A big um upgrade if you will. I believe that it's Dwarven. What's with all the Grells in here? Well, well, when they pick one up, I'll explain more. See, they divide. They also divide pretty much in their HP count. But you do get more experience. Sometimes you get 675, sometimes you get 900. And a blueberry is not what I'm talking about. Okay, now I got the blueberry. Let's continue on. So, what we got here is there are a certain amount of enemies in the forest. I believe originally there was supposed to be like six, but that's definitely not the case anymore. There's more like twelve. They, I think they almost doubled it or so. And we got dragonflies, which are bees, which are bugs, which are insects, which are dead. I don't care. Well, the thing is, I only get three experience for that. But I do get a Dwarven Guard. Like, see the evasion in the defense? Really good upgrade. And, like in different um, games, the evasion in this game does work fairly well. Because when you can get hit, usually the shield just pops out. Evasion is pretty much how they use the shield. If the shield pops out, it means they evaded an attack, and then they don't take any damage. I believe also, in depending on how high their ev evasion is, it also in, um, tells... What is it? It shows how fast they're able to dish out another attack, pretty much. I may be just spitballing this, but... I don't know. So how many more enemies are there? It must have been like five or seven of them. I'll cap this as like number eight. Maybe someone out there will be counting this and they'll know. <laughs> Let's see. There's definitely- there we- yeah, like nine, ten. They're always in like packs of three or four. The last one's like two. <laughs> I love fear. I love you. Just, just drill through enemies like no tomorrow. And okay, there we go. This is when I get into close proximity. Go fear! I love it. Yay. And another unidentified guard. I'm probably just gonna stockpile them and go through all of them in one go. I believe that's the plan I have right now. More dragonflies. Whoop de doo. Yeah, there's dragonflies, growls, I think those are the only two enemies in this area. So, no goodies for you. Oh, there we go, two more chests. Four more enemies. It's a good balance, I guess. Whatever. Okay. Joshua has to use... I believe off... Yeah, off screen, I think I took off his singular attacks. As I get a shadow flower and dwarven! Yay! Dwarven helm! Good. <sighs> Alright. 
So that was all the enemies. Just so you know. So what do we get for all this? Well, you go here. This is the least I can do. Here, take it. It's a weapon no one can use. The Elven Bow. Congratulations from me. But that's pretty much for this side quest of Joshua. You meet him, blah blah blah. <laughs> it didn't really show us anything of real importance, but then again it wasn't really supposed to. But now where do we go from here? Well, like we've done on every single continent up till now, you go to the next town. Except, the next town is really, really important, and I'll be spending a little bit of my time there. Especially, like, the next episode. It's gonna be all plot, all the time. Especially because it's really important. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Just kill it! This point is just kill things! Things that can actually do maybe some harm to you. Nope, they can't. <laughs> do harm to her, yeah? Eh. Or maybe not, since she just gained a level. Well, that's a... Well, next time we're gonna head into the next town over, which is the town of... what is it? I believe it's the town of Ionis. See ya!